and that was uh, the, the the thought in the window painting uh, that it is really ephemeral. That afterwards you have to take it away, and yes, you can't have it forever. And I liked a lot the thought of about of it. Yes. And yeah. people understood it, and they know. Okay, they they pay for something, but it is not forever. But it's so lovely to meet you here on Zoom, Gabrielle. <laughs> Thank you very much for the invitation. Your work is amazing, and I saw you do these lovely uh, fabric, a uh, painting on fabric, and these skirts that you make. And uh, oh, I just love that. I just uh, these these images. It's just um, so wonderful that you do. Oh, thank you. So you're an artist here mm. in Vienna. Yes. Mm. And are you originally from Vienna? No, um, I originally come from Ecuador. I came um, to Europe when I was twenty. I know, 18, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and I came as an au pair uh, to Germany because I was uh, learning after the school, I was learning uh, German. So the first, the, the next thought was, okay, I should go to Germany or Austria to learn the, the language. And I came and I never came back. Oh, wow. <laughs> And this art, the, the, the drawings the, or the illustrations that you do, was that always something you did as a child? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, I, since I remember, I was always drawing and, and uh, painting. My parents actually are also very talented and it was so normal, so natural just to paint the whole time. Mm. And I always wanted to be an artist, but... I think in our society uh, was there not not really the, the the place for it. It was the question was not there to be really an artist uh, for living. So uh, I just there I never realized it really that I wanted to do it for living. Okay. So it's the I think that the 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 dream came true when I was here actually. When I realized, okay, I think I can do it, I can do it here. Mm -hmm. And it worked. Yeah, but you have <laughs> such a lovely, uh, it's, it's very, um, so it's a lovely type of drawings that you do. Um, and it's, it's um, also you do it on windows, I see. Yeah. Actually, uh, I am a painter. I, I studied applied arts painting, and um, my my focus was to paint on glass, on plexiglass. Oh, okay. And and then I came to the idea to the uh, window paintings. Uh, that was also a very nice uh, uh, way to sh to show uh, art. So no. in the in the way that I did it before, it was so ephemeral, just mm -hmm. uh, for a couple of of time uh, uh, months or what, however the, the people wanted, and um, yeah, and uh, then I uh, I was uh, I really liked it a lot, and I stood there, I I paint uh, the whole town, and uh, I think that's. <laughs> Yeah. That's the way I think that is uh, the way the people know me. Actually, mm. the painting of the skirts came just because of that. Actually, really, but I love this idea that you, like you say, you know, now it's it can be seen and it's not confined to an art gallery or that you have to own a, one of your paintings, but that you can really uh, walk in, just past the shop and then it's there, you know, and it makes it, it's sort of part of the, of the, um, the display. You, you, you use your painting and it sort of brings out this whole display that you have been there. Yeah. And for me, it is really important that it is really for a short time. Uh, yeah. it, it was before with my, my with my paintings that it I showed just a moment in in the life of because I take a lot of pictures of photos and then uh, I translate them on the canvas 
And it was for me important that it was just a little moment in in lives of people. And that mm -hmm. was uh, the, the, the thought in the window painting uh, that it is really ephemeral, that afterwards you have to take it away. Mm -hmm. And yes, you can't have it forever. And I liked a lot the thought of about of it. Yes. And yeah. people understood it and they know, okay, they, they pay for something, but it is not forever. And I, I like it. <laughs> really? <laughs> but I'm thinking now, is it not hard for you sometimes to take it when they take it off? Because it must be, you must be proud of also of your work and then to be taken away. That is that not sometimes hard? Sometimes with with some of some pictures, I really think oh it 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 hurts a little bit. I think I think most of them uh, was uh, in my first big project um, in the Dorothea Gasse, where uh, I uh, always uh, were people that um, that I met in the beginning of the project. It they were the the owners of the shops or people that. Um, or people that work there, I paint the pieces on the on the windows, and I think that was that hurts a little bit uh, oh, really? because it was a lot of a lot of work first to to prepare the whole project, and afterwards to to paint somebody in such big formats because I I think the biggest was uh, three meters or something. Wow, mm. and um. They they had a lot a lot of time they they had it long but afterwards you have to some at some point you have to really clean the windows yeah <laughs> and uh, they took it away and uh, that was when I thought okay it's 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 painful but yes it it is it. kind of it and and I take it also like that I, I think mm. it is ephemeral it is just for for few moments people like them saw it and that was it but now how did you get people to understand what you're doing and and to to start painting on these glass uh, on the shop windows um I, I'm not sure if people really get it I think they see it and they they think oh it's nice yeah. and I go by other other people had really talked to me and said uh, and 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 what happened with it afterwards and I say okay yeah. the people that from the shops uh, really decide how long they want to take to yeah. have it but um, it shouldn't be forever and yeah. it is yeah. and I explain also that the process it should shouldn't be uh, forever there it's yeah. only for the moment and afterwards maybe come something different or just goes but do you have now fixed clients that you go to or uh, is it uh, you have mm. yes so in vienna i have a lot of um customers that uh that works with me the whole year that i make session on, uh, some things are uh, for example easter or, or oh, yeah. um, christmas that um and it's nice because I, I really have the freedom to do whatever I want. I, I do not become a, a particular um, theme or topic oh, yeah. or something. They mm -hmm. say, okay, just just do it. And, mm -hmm. and we're happy. And I, I have some of some, some customers that I really have the, the whole year. So it, it's, and that's the way uh, people recognize the paintings every time because they see them every day. So amazing! But now from glass to to fabric, because then you started. What was the idea to do that? Uh, I, I I met Maria with my window art um, on the town, and uh, I have painted for her maybe three or four times. And uh, we understood us uh, very, very good. I like her a lot. And um, she told me once, uh, we really have to do something together. We really have to do something together. And I thought, 
yes, yes, we have to, we have to, but I didn't realize it. And yeah. last Christmas when I was painting uh, there, they told me uh, we have really, we have to do something together. I said, okay, let's, let's do it next year. And in January, she called me and told me, you have to come, I, I have an idea. And um, then we talked. I guess I, I, it will be so lovely that, that uh, the story said, because Maria also liked that kind of paintings in, on her windows. It was also like a kind of storytelling there. Yeah. Uh, in many different ways, it was a kind of storytelling, always by her. And then to tell me, what do you think if we, we do it on fabrics? Uh, and uh, I, I don't know, uh, I, I, I'm not sure should we do it on t-shirts or, or, or I don't know, but something we, ha we have to do something like that. Do you want to do it? And uh, then I thought, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> because some many years ago, I tried to do it on, I tried to paint on, on uh, fabrics and it was terrible. It oh, really? was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible and I thought oh my god uh should I really do this <laughs> but I didn't say it to her and I said okay uh okay let's do it mm -hmm. and then uh it came uh it came the idea okay it would be nice uh to do it on that skirts mm -hmm. because they are very big they have a lot of uh a place to to make a story and um, yeah, with it, okay, let's let's do it there. And um, I, I thought, okay, it's it's a challenge, and I have learned uh, you have to take challenges. You have yeah. to really yeah. to take Absolutely. them. Yeah. <laughs> do not stay in the comfort zone. Just do it, and it, somehow you will manage it. I thought. <laughs> and well, I I love it. I mean, I, I, I follow Maria as well. Um, just uh, remind me the shop name again is um, uh, Vina Confection. Vina Confection, yeah. And uh, because I follow her also on Instagram, and the moment I saw those skirts, I just thought, "Wow, this is amazing! This is so lovely!" And 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 it's so um, it's something that you wear that's so unique, you know, because nobody will have that. And yeah, I absolutely love it, and it, great the style also, and. Like you say, you know, you can have you have this whole space under underneath that you or, or at the bottom of the skirt that you tell these stories. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. Um, then I thought, okay, it is really uh, there is a lot of place yeah. to, to to say something, and I really started from there. And then I thought, okay, I have to do it on the other side, but you, because you usually do it at the other side, okay. But it was it was fun actually. Mm -hmm. And it worked because um, I, I I had some fabric to to make some tests and uh, it really worked and I, and it was then like paper so it it really? was yeah so mm -hmm. it was really fun afterwards. So what inspired these stories on the skirts? Um, we 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 thought about the skirt stories as we had a lot of names. Uh, also Spanish names, but uh, afterwards we it was we said uh, let's take it simple. There are stories on skirts, are skirt stories. Yeah, and um, I think the first one, the first uh, painting that I made was uh, the red, the little red uh, riding. riding. Yes, yeah, I saw the, that one with yeah. the wolf. It was the first one, it, and, and uh, I don't know. I don't really know how the idea came. It was just there, and I was painting. I, I like to paint animals, actually. Oh, I, I I am not s such a person with animals, but I like yeah. to paint animals. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> and and it was very nice the fur on something, and then came the idea with with it. I might have the inspiration of my daughter, maybe. Because uh, we read a lot. Oh, we, yeah. Um, we are every day telling us a story. She tells me stories. I tell her we are reading a lot. And maybe I think the, the uh, some, some, you know, some place there are, are that kind yeah. of story. 
And mm-hmm. that was the first one. And I like it a lot, the idea of the, the redemption between t- the both, that they are really together, yeah. they are not fighting or whatever. And um, after that one came more ideas, okay, uh, let's make it uh, uh, that they're eating a uh, cake. And uh, I had another one. Um, it was uh, a woman that was... Uh, was on the sea and I thought okay let's make a let's make a shark but no it's it's too it's uh, that's maybe too dangerous let's make a little a little fish with the I don't know what do you say it <laughs> the the fin yes yeah. Yeah. of the shark and I don't know Amazing. I think yeah. I think the story scheme uh, one by one. I, when I was painting the one, the one skirt, uh, I was thinking in the next one. Oh, and, I see. Mm. and many times, where I, were, I was really thinking on the the, the stories that uh, happen really in the street mm. here. We have uh, we live in the seventh district, and you see a lot of people with uh, with dogs. You see a little a lot of people with bicycles. Uh, so I think. Those uh, normal daily moments are were also my inspiration from the other ones. That's so beautiful, and it's so uh, and so. Uh, I don't know. It, it it's almost as if it's something about Vienna. You know, this that you say that the things you see on the street, and then you you paint them on the skirts. So where are these the skirts only available from Maria? So uh, yeah, from Vienna Confection. Okay. Yeah, you you can you can uh, you can see the whole collection there, and uh, I am not sure if she has it online because I think one or two are online, but you have to really see them. And if you also have uh, has a wish, you have mm-hmm. a wish uh, which which one you want to have, or you have an, uh, your own idea of your own story, really? you, we can also we can also do it. Amazing. Oh, okay. So you do it like that, so people can tell you the story. Yes, we came. We came to that one because um, a friend of me uh, told told me. Yes, I, I love the the bicycle, uh, the girl with the bicycle. But um, I would like to see myself there. Could you make it with a longer her? Uh, oh, I see. And I thought, yeah, yeah why why not? Everyone, every 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 skirt is different because I do not repeat them. But it it was also her wish to make her a long hair and maybe flowers or whatever. And of course, I do it. But now you've just, I mean, you make your art now so wonderful because firstly on the window, so we will walk past, but then also on, the, you know, on the clothes that we wear. Uh, so people can see it. I think it's such a wonderful idea, and and it's the way it's done and the style of the skirt, everything. I think it it goes so well together. Uh, congratulations okay. with this wonderful idea. Thank you. I'm going to I'm going to definitely put the link to um to the shop in the description, and Thank then you. Uh, yeah, and then um and also your your website. Do you have a website? Yeah, I'll also put yeah. that in description mm. it's it's uh i think my instagram account is uh more uh has the the recent I'm more, okay <laughs> I'll, I'll put your works, instagram on but, there but no. i do have no. a homepage. but now gabriella oh, you've you've done so much already but what is the wish for you for the future what would you still like to do or explore or which challenge would you like to take on I uh, I would love to. Uh, I also paint walls, but I would really, really love to paint a very, very, very large. Um, those those that you see from 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 white, a very oh, yeah. a, a large a mural. That's that would be that would be a very big challenge. I think that would that, that I would love to do that. Well, I would love to see that in Vienna. <laughs> absolutely because i, I love the way yeah i love your style of of art and your illustrations it's so beautiful thank you <laughs> so let's put the wish out there and and hope that we uh that we see your mural soon i hope so <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, it was so lovely talking to you and um, you. congratulations again with all your lovely work. And uh, I will definitely pop into the shop and to to see uh, yeah to see your skirts. And may you may you paint many more skirts so that we can see it on the street as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Gabriella. Have a lovely Thank day. You. you too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.